All right, I want to show you some of the groceries that I actually buy on a weekly basis. Let's start off with Amy's burritos, as you can see here. I want to show you some of the ingredients. It has a lot of ingredients. This is something that may not look too pretty. But on the other hand, when I read the ingredients, it's organic pinto beans, organic sweet rice flour, and it has no GMOs. Let's just hope that they don't contain any GMOs. And I got that for about a buck twenty-five each. They're originally two for about four dollars, but then I got a buck fifty coupon. This is from Applegate, as you can see here, turkey dogs. I can't find any GMO ingredients, not that I can find. It has no antibiotics, gluten free. I was able to get this for about buck fifty. These are toaster pastries from Nature's Path, as you can see here. Doesn't have too many ingredients, as you can see here. Wheat flour that's organic. Certainly a lot of organic ingredients, except for the citric acid. I was able to get this for about $2.70. Whole Foods were selling these about two forty five but then again you can get pop tarts for about two dollars so it's only about twenty thirty percent more I think it's certainly worth a deal considering the pop tarts a lot of other nasty ingredients these are some waffles that I had this morning Vans natural foods as you can see here Let's take a look closely has a lot of ingredients, certainly what they are proud of. I was able to get these for about a buck twenty-five. Two was for about four fifty, but then with the coupons that was about two dollars, I was able to get it for about a buck twenty-five or a buck forty, I'm not exactly sure six of these that are included. Let me show you the breads that I buy. This is from Alpine Valley, 17 slices, and this is from Rudy's. As you can see here, 15 slices. They were selling for about three dollars, or one was selling for about four dollars, but with the coupons I could get it for two or three dollars. Pretty good deal. And I bought some more toaster pastries, this time strawberry. This is Annie's homegrown ravioli. I was able to get this for about a buck twenty-five. Somehow it mentions non-BPA liner. Again, you want to know what your food is covered with, because certainly plastics can be quite harmful as well. Take a look at the ingredients just to make sure you find them favorable. Right here. might have this for dinner tonight and then these are organic valley eggs as you can see here this one was kind of pricey it was about 320 a dozen normally eggs sell for about 250 or 299 but yet again people can buy it at the dollar store for 99 cents or something <laughs> I wonder what those eggs are really are I wouldn't bother somehow these eggs can vary in color. This one is pretty light. It doesn't have a lot of dark spots. But this one here is darker in color. These eggs come from California. I like to buy locally owned. Certainly, I had these for breakfast. were pretty good. <laughs> Certainly, the taste. It was slightly better, but compared to conventional or GMO eggs somehow it tasted differently I had them earlier but one of the things I like to tell you is 
I bought all of these groceries from Sprouts. It is a popular grocery store chain in the southwest region of the United States. I also like to go to farmers markets, certainly more local food that's fresh. It certainly it benefits your health. Now what you see with a lot of these foods, as a matter of fact, is that none of them hopefully contain GMOs based on my research. I do a lot of research. I go to the website. I spend a while looking at the ingredients to make sure. Not to mention most of these are organic. It doesn't have to be all organic, but as long as they're not GMO, that's the most important thing. Also, the brands of these companies are not owned by the large corporations that sell GMO. So for an example, Horizon Milk is a popular organic milk brand, but yet again, it's owned by Dean Foods. Same thing with Cascadia Farm. It's owned by General Milk, so I like to stay away from those. One of the reasons I like to stay away from GMOs, I'm just not comfortable with these ingredients. High fructose corn syrup, corn starch, soy lechin. I mean, it's just really uncomfortable. Aspartame, the list goes on. When you look at a lot of the diseases that have been increasing at a rapid rate, I believe that these so-called GMO foods were heavily contributing to the growing rates of cancer, obesity, diabetes, leukemia, Parkinson's disease, the list goes on. I mean, I certainly haven't been sick in a situation I've had to go to a doctor's office. It's been like, I guess, 11 years, and hopefully we can extend that even a lot longer for all of us. But I'm really dissatisfied about genetically modified foods, you know, the Monsanto Protection Act. I, in fact, participated in the March Against Monsanto movement that happened last Saturday. I was at Laguna Beach. I was protesting against Wall Street speculation, which drives up food prices, and not to mention the agricultural subsidies that largely goes to junk food, which makes it quite challenging for the non-GMO foods to compete with junk food. And again, it's the low-income people that are suffering from this type of epidemic. But as far as I can tell you is that you've got to really focus on quality. Think of a custom-built home rather than a track-built home. Custom-built homes are better quality, but in the next 20, 30 years, you often have less maintenance cost, you have durability, the costs of Renovation is certainly a lot lower, and the building stands out for many, many years to come. So the benefits are longer. And the same, I believe, for these types of foods that I buy. Certainly they may cost more, but the health benefits, along with lower medical bills, can really be beneficial for decades and generations to come. One of the things I tell people is there's a lot of ways you can cut back to make sure that these foods are a lot more affordable one thing is continue to look for coupons. You can buy in season, giving up habits that are just so unhealthy, smoking, drinking. Maybe you want to cut back on driving. Certainly you can walk to the grocery store and buy organic produce. Certainly that would be a wonderful jump start direction. You can also cut back on high fructose corn syrup and aspartame related sodas. I mean, who would drink those? Come on, give me a break. I just hope that the gap of non-GMO food and organic foods, not to mention competing against the GMO foods, will continue to shorten. In other words, there's a less percentage gap in the cost. When I look at it, the food sales of non-GMOs has been continuously decreased. I believe once when demand continues to kick up, hopefully prices will come down. Hopefully the agricultural producers will find more cost-effective measures because they have larger farms, they can produce more per capita, but really we got to have a lot more awakening to this. We have to really start a renaissance. We can continue to boycott these GMO foods, vote with our pocketbooks. I really want to bring an opportunity in my metropolis extension that I talk about 
where I always continue to preach that we can have more local trade so we can have more vertical farms, fields where in these small towns, in these verandas, they can sell organic fruits and vegetables, high quality. I mean, it can just be a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So these are a lot of these options that we can certainly think about. Now, as for the non-GMO movement, can it be controlled opposition? As far as I can tell you, I am not sure. I can tell you that the organic food that is owned by the GMO large agribusinesses certainly is. Now, for these, like Alpine Valley, Nature's Path, can they be controlled opposition? I doubt it, but yet again, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to continue to do some research. Now, one thing I am quite certain is not controlled opposition is the food that comes from your local farmer's market, or certainly if you grow your own food, but certainly that is not easy and convenient for many. So, as far as I know, tell me what you think about these foods. Do you think I should continue buying these foods? Should I do some changes? Should I buy more? Where should I go? What should I do? Certainly, it's quite difficult for me because a person my age and my gender, I have a lot of food intake. I've been going to the gym, bodybuilding, and certainly as I continue to increase my weight, I certainly have to eat more food in the months ahead per day. So I really need to keep my pocketbook, my finances well balanced. So tell me what you think and also continue to spread this word along with this video. Thank you so much. Take care.